Hey guys, Jason Collins with ManufacturedHomes.com. We are at the 2023 Biloxi, Mississippi Manufactured Housing Show, and we're about to take a look at a home by Cabco Builders. This is about as big as you can get in a double wide, and it's also probably the nicest double wide that I have seen at the show. So we're taking a look at the Platinum. There's definitely a reason they named it that, 32 by 82, guys. This home is probably the closest to a stick-built luxury home that you're going to find. This thing is absolutely humongous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to love every square inch of it. Stay tuned. We're going to jump right in. Once again, the Platinum by Cabco Builders. Guys, this thing has got a sort of a front porch area, a great place. If you enjoy decorating for the holidays, this would be a great place for an outdoor Christmas tree. And hey, if you like the content that you're seeing, if you like what we're doing, do me a favor and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you get notified when we drop new content. Give me a thumbs up. That tells YouTube you like what you're seeing. They'll bring you more of the same. And do me a favor. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you think about this absolutely gorgeous home. In addition to having one of the largest floor plans that we've seen, this home has got some extra special features. And guys, this is probably the largest pantry that I have ever seen. We, we've seen bedrooms that weren't quite as big, maybe they were, but we have seen rooms definitely that weren't as big as this, guys. You've got four levels of shelving for the pantry that go all the way around the room. This is an incredible pantry area. Obviously, it opens up into an open concept floor plan kitchen, guys, that is equally massive. And I want to point out some things here. I always like the eat at center island in the kitchen this one's got a spot for four people i really really like sort of the the difference that we've got here with the brown cabinets above and the black cabinets below we've got really nice laminate countertops we've got a black uh appliance package we have got a gun metal gray apron sink which you don't see very often this is becoming standard guys we see this everywhere the gooseneck with the removable retractable sprayer i love that Take a look at this black vent hood. Guys, this kitchen is so incredible. Like I said, you've got space here for four people to sit and eat. So this is breakfast for the kids in the morning, guys. You got them all lined up. They've got their book bags. They need to get a little oatmeal in them. This is where that's going to happen. Not only that, guys, but we've got so much storage space. And I want to give you guys a little peek right here. Take a look at this. This is something that you don't see all the time. This is the spot where the trash can goes. Jason, how can you be excited about the spot where the trash can goes? I love this because it's not in a closet. It's not in your pantry. You put it right here. You tuck it away. No one knows it's there. We've got drawer over door cabinets throughout, guys. This is an incredible kitchen, to say the least. You know, we talk about attention to detail all the time, guys, and Cabco has done an incredible job of doing some things that we might not always think about. And I want to show you this one. Not only do we have an outlet in the island, which I think is a great thing, and we don't see that all the time, but remember I told you this would be a great place for the kids to get breakfast up in the morning before they go to school. Look at this. Built in USB phone chargers right here in the island. Can it get any better than that? Wait, wait. Did, like, you thought that the pantry was incredible? Every time I open a door in this house, I find something that is even more incredible. You know, because you've been watching my channel, you know that I love the utility room. Come on, I want to show you. We've talked about this over and over and over. I love the utility room because you can attach a garage to the end. You've got low maintenance flooring in here. That means when you come in from outside, maybe you're working, maybe you're playing, maybe you're hunting, fishing, whatever. You got dirty clothes. You can come in. You can take care of that super deep 
utility sink, but that's not what makes this utility room awesome. What makes this utility room awesome is right over here. And I want you to take a look at this. Look at this. You've got a place for coats. You've got a place for shoes. You've got storage space galore all the way around. So everything that that pantry was for the kitchen, this space is for the utility room. Have you ever seen anything like this in a manufactured home? No, you haven't. Can you say humongous bathtub? Humongo tub. Guys, this is a single piece fiberglass tub surround. We talk about that all the time. That's low maintenance. That reduces the chances of you getting water infiltration. You don't have to deal with that moldy grout stuff that you have to replace every couple of years. That is awesome. The fact that it is super deep means those four kids that were sitting in there scarfing down oatmeal and charging their iPad, they can pop in here and take a bubble bath. Group bubble bath. Love it. Hey, we've got some space right here for linen. Same laminate countertops that we were dealing with before. Awesome sink right here, guys. This is a porcelain sink, not fiberglass. That's something that is super important when we start talking about, you know, sort of preserving the value of that home and resale. Things like porcelain sinks over fiberglass, it might cost you a little bit more on the front end, but it's definitely going to pay for itself over time. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jason, with that massive pantry and that humongous utility room, the bedrooms have got to be super tiny. Absolutely not, guys. These rooms are very spacious, certainly big enough for your kids, maybe even one of those bunk beds with the twin on top and the full on bottom. That can happen. Nice size closets right here with built-in shelves and clothes hanging stuff, guys. Premium carpet in here. This room looks great. And also... Tape and texture drywall with bullnose corners throughout this home, guys. And that just lit, that just, just one more thing that gives this home a sort of more residential look and feel. Guys, for a four bedroom, two bath floor plan, again, I'm telling you, these rooms are really, really impressively large. So if you need that fourth bedroom, you've got it. This one is directly off the kitchen, so it would really do a good job as a crafting room, maybe a home office for those of you who are doing the gig economy or the telecommute society. This would be a great space for that to happen. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jason, we've seen the kitchen. The pantry is great. The utility room is gorgeous. But what about the master? Let's take a look. We all love our kids. My wife and I, we have got like nine grandchildren, maybe 10. It's hard for me to tell now that we lose count after you get up to so many. Well, we love them, but you know what's awesome about having the master suite on one end of the house and the additional bedrooms on the other end of the house? You get to have a little quiet time. You get to have a little me time. This room is definitely impressive in terms of size. King size bed, guys, night tables on either side. And full-size dresser, plenty of space for that. But the thing that I want you guys to see, everything that the pantry was, everything that you, the utility room was, this master bathroom is all of that and more. We're going to take a look at it in just a second. Guys, this shower is not only gorgeous, but it is massive. Take a look at this thing, guys. You've got a bench right here for the shaving of the legs. You've got the gorgeous black tile. And then you've got the rain head. I love it. I love it. I love the fact that the shower is enclosed with glass so you get access to all of this gorgeous light that comes through. In addition to this great shower, guys, this thing also has an oversized, oversized soaker tub right over here. So if you enjoy a hot bubble bath or maybe your wife enjoys a hot bubble bath, you're going to love this space right here. This entire bathroom suite is something to be enjoyed. Again, we've got his and hers sinks. And the reason that I call this one the his and that one the hers is because this one over here actually has a makeup area where you can pull a chair in over there. And the thing that we want to point out, my wife taught me this, you got to have ample light over the mirror, and I want you guys to pay attention to this. Not only do we have great light over the mirror, but we've got this great frosted window back here that allows natural light to come in, and when you're putting on your beautiful face, nothing beats natural light. It's 
what my wife tells me. Are you guys ready for the for the pièce de résistance of the master bathroom suite? Come in here and let's take a look. This is the floor plan that keeps on giving, guys. This is the master bathroom, master suite closet. And I want you to take a look at this. We've got a center island. We've got shelving that goes all the way around. And we've got this gorgeous built-in right here, guys. This home, every time you turn a corner, there is a jaw-dropping experience. Every bit of this house has an incredible attention to detail, guys. From this weathered metal look on the accent wall to the rope trim in the master bathroom to the faux beams that we've got here in the living room, even the electric fireplace. This home is so impressive in its attention to detail, guys. If you want to find out more information about this home or any of the homes that you see featured on this channel, you can check us out at manufacturedhomes.com. If you're interested in finding out anything about Cabco, you can find them at cabcobuilders.com. My name's Jason. You guys are watching Chasing Homes, and we'll see you next time.